broke the hole, broke the show, broke the hole, broke the show, broke the hole, broke the hole by Hashem, Yom Shai by Hashem, Dash. The blindness of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you will. I want to say salutations to the whole elect out there. You are gifted to the doctor. I do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the preacher mind, in this week's in transit lesson is going to be entitled Things Will Never Be the Same. Um, the reason for this show is, uh, you know, you look, at, you look at what's going on around you with this whole police state, which is a part of prophecy, which is something they've been showing you in movies, and they're using this uh, corona hoax to um, to get it done. Whether real or not, it is serving the purpose of disruption. Um, and so they're catching a lot of flack for saying, um, look, this crisis, this flu virus thing is, you know, one big <clears throat> hoax. Not, not, that, not that the virus is... Um, possibly not real it's just that the <clears throat> fear doesn't merit the virus and you know the American people really have um, short term memory you know all you have to do is trace your history it was a false crisis that got you into World War One. the sinking of the Lusitania it was a false crisis that got you in World War Two. Pearl Harbor it was a false crisis that got you in Vietnam War the sinking of um, I'm sorry the Gulf of Tonkin situation it was a false crisis that got you into the war with Middle East, September 11th. Um, it was a false crisis that got you in Syria in 2014 when they set aside gases, people, chemical weapons, and it turns out that those are crisis actors. And it was this crisis now that is escalating America into a police state. Um, so, again, it's easy to put on people's fear and emotion because when people are scared, look, they do irrational things, and I don't blame them. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're nervous, you're scared. It's really become more fight or fight or flight, you know. And I would say, look, as a small business owner right now in America, I'd much rather catch a flu than see my business destroyed and my life savings go to waste, and now I can't support my family. I think a flu would be a lot better to deal with in that situation. Um, most people trying to survive are going to do one thing: they're going to take out loans. Interest rates are still very low, and the scriptures tell us that the borrowers serve to the lenders. That's, so that's going to bring them even more into debt. Pumping more and more fiat currency into this society, um, great. The more you do it, the bigger the collapse of this U.S. dollar. I, I, I personally just don't know what they're going to back this digital currency by. The petrodollar is very manipulative, you know. And before the petrodollar, they had the gold standard, which they, which they, which they signed in Brentwood, Brentwood, New, New Hampshire, right? So the fiat, the fiat funny money is going to ultimately collapse. It has to. That's prophetic. It's just a matter of when and what they will back it with. But the coronavirus, um, it's doing its thing. You know, it's doing its thing. More, again, more so the U.S. media. Oh, my God. Like, yo. Uh, you know, it's, it's clickbait times a million. Every day. I mean, shit, you know. Sometimes it's really just good to fact check what these people are saying. As that brother brought out a few weeks back. I was saying that the global pandemic... Uh, the cases has reached over 600,000 now. Um, the, case, the cases has gone over 600,000 now globally in a population of 7 billion. That's less than even you know, 0.1%. And sometimes you have to look at these natural disasters, right? Let's look at something that was a natural disaster. Like um, in 2007, you had um, Hurricane Katrina. And Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina, where people were dying, losing their homes, had to be forced in the New Orleans Stadium. It wasn't the National Guards didn't pull up there to New Orleans. You know, they let those people suffer. Those people, by the way, were Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. A lot of them suffered. A lot of the, a lot, a lot of the tribe of uh, Judah, which is the so-called Negro today, a lot of them suffered. Even Kanye West said, "Look, George Bush doesn't care about black people." So I'm, I'm surprised that an event like that, Hurricane Katrina or the um, earthquake in Haiti, didn't merit the same response as a flu virus that has a less than one percent kill rate. Um, so they let our people suffer. In fact, Haiti became a lot worse when the U.S. intervened. They went out there, robbed their um, resources, mineral, their resources, minerals, and left the puppet dictator over there in Haiti. So this is a, this is the type of things that the U.S. media done. Oh, how can I forget Venezuela? They told they said that our people in Venezuela were eating themselves. And when you look into it, um, the people actually did have food, and it was just. Uh, a U.S. play to in, to intervene and put in Juan Guaido, a U.S. CIA asset that's president. So, 
I could only imagine how people are seeing New York now from across the world. They probably think we, you know, you, know, you probably can't even go to the store because the virus, you come outside, you'll die. That's probably, I don't know how they're spending it across the world. You know, you, you only know when you're inside that country. One thing I did was I looked up this um, investi um, investigative journalist, Ryan Dawson, who actually lives in Japan. And I chose Japan because, well, I always follow his stuff, but Japan, when this pandemic first started, Japan was ranked number two before quickly um, being surpassed by the United States. It's amazing how they could go from two to 18 in a matter of days. It's like the virus knows where it wants to go, right? You know, at, at the, which it hasn't even been proven to be airborne. So, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's interesting living in these times. When, you know, when you look back at certain crises and you kind of, and they start bringing out the information and certain big events, and you look back like, how do they, how, you know, how does people don't see it, you know? How, you know, how do they think they went to the moon after all these facts came out? How do they think HIV is sexually transmitted when a retrovirus, a human can't pass another retrovirus to another human? And they think it in the height of the moment, you know, in the height of the moment, the U.S. media. And look, we're, 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 we're for this stuff, man. We're for the, um, let me say that correctly, I'm sorry. We're for prophecy. We're for prophecy. So the stuff that is happening right now um, serves the purpose of prophecy, you know? It is fucked up. Look, if a brother's in that situation where, um, you know, they, they moms and they pops might have owned a small business, whatever, I pray the most I get you through that, man, because a lot of small businesses are being destroyed. The, the middle class is being completely eroded with the situation. They're going to get themselves more and more in debt. Um, feds, the feds are manipulating the interest rates to keep it fairly low. It should be... Again, it should be out of this world, man. The more money you print, um, the more the interest rates go up. So we see hyperinflation, stagflation. All these things are happening. Yeah, the interest rates are being kept early, relatively low. And they do that to encourage you to borrow, not save. Um, which saving money in America is pretty much a waste of time. How can you save money when they're constantly print, printing? Your money over time will only lose value if it just sits there. So... Look, you can generate dollars and you can generate money, but you can't generate wealth. You know, you can't produce. Um, as the scripture says, um, Abraham was rich in cattle, silver, and land. All right? These things are actual assets. These are things that actually gain you revenue. If you have sheep and goat, they can produce more sheep and goat and increase revenue. Uh, gold could act as security. Well, technically speaking, by definition, your golden, golden house wouldn't be seen as assets with more securities because they don't generate more revenue unless you buy a house and rent it out then it becomes an asset but if you just buy a house you know it does depreciate it can depreciate and people saw that people were in a panic a little bit when they saw that look you know i was losing when the interest rates was dropping the value of my house was going down so you know if you're in debt and you have to put up your house as collateral collateral you quickly see that look damn my house wasn't really an asset but now it's a liability you know, shit is crazy right now. You know, shit is crazy. Um, the ones that have had the scriptures um, have been stable. The ones that are watching these lessons have been stable. Um, also, want to speak on the situation about what's happening out there in Trinidad, where I believe um, you have individuals that's teaching that the Sabbath is not the new moon. I think that's what's going on out there. Um, if you brothers come across this or... You know, look, more than likely, and often times what happens is when people start to stray away from the doctrine, they, don't, they only become worse. But if you guys do come across this video, I pray you repent, you know, I pray you repent. I'm, I'm being honest. I pray you repent because if you don't repent, the punishment for not teaching the proper words of the Heavenly Father is not being saved. You know, no matter how far you get it. One point, one point or another, if you're not teaching the word of the Heavenly Father correctly and teaching it in maliciousness, the penalty of that is death, man. You might not get the missile, but you might get hit with the famine. You might get hit with these Gurkha troops out here. You might get hit with the martial law. That's in the book of Amos. You know, fleeing, fleeing from, a, 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 I believe, a lion and being met by a bear and escaping the bear and being met by a snake. Um, so, you know, in, like the Apostle of the Heart said, in most cases, um, and right around the Passover... Uh, you kind of get numb to it, to be honest, you know. You kind of get numb to it to the point that you don't even get upset. You know, the Apostle Ryan Lobby wasn't upset because this is what is going to happen, you know. Um, I don't 
don't really know what's the race for. You know, look, the apostles, they know a lot of shit. They know they know a lot of a lot of things, man. There's times when camp closed down and the apostles start getting into financial stuff, medical stuff, car stuff. Just a lot of shit. Just a lot of knowledge. But they don't look when you, they come, they put on the camera. They try to keep it as simple as as possible. You know, it, it's not really a thing about. Because at the end of the day, the scriptures speak about brothers being saved in the eleventh hour, right? So it's really best to keep it simple and 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 try your best to do that. That is a lot easier said than done to rule your spirit. Um, I, I personally myself, I'm praying to the Lord to work on that. You know, I don't want to be proud, arrogant, or any of that, and, and be another statistic of, oh man, look, that was just another dude that was proud and got beside himself. So I don't want to fucking be that, you know. So if brothers were rebuking you on that thing, you know, it's best to just listen. You know, always prepare to hear you. Always prepare yourself to just hear no. You know, you don't always have to be right. Um, you know, just prepare prepare yourself to hear uh, hear no. See open rebuke for what it is. Open rebuke in itself is just mercy. You know, so if a brother and you want to be you want to be that person where look, I could talk to this guy. You know, if, if if he's going in the wrong direction, I could sit down and talk to this guy. He's you know he's willing to hear. And that way, if you them de demons jump on you, and demons will jump on all of us. From time to time, um, if Peter was not exempt, you know we're not greater than Peter. We're not greater than King David, right? And Yahweh Shai himself rebuked him and called him Satan. So, the spiritual demon Satan could jump on any one of us in the form of any type of demon, arrogancy, um, pride, um, you know, laziness, all these types of stuff. All these types of stuff to, to throw you off the truth. Just you know, you, we in flesh, you know, and. <clears throat> It is hard to rule our emotions, but we have to try to get a, a, a control of our spirit. So the, the brothers out there in Trinidad, um, so lucky if I didn't, if, I, if I'm missing some of the details about it, I just got the general idea that, you know, they went off and they're going to teach their own, teach their own thing. Um, again, we do, we do teach that, look, you don't have, have to necessarily be under the banner of Great Millstone. Being in Great Millstone doesn't equate to you're going to be on a chariot. Because in Great Millstone, you see that you have people that go off and teach their own shit, right? And go crazy and do all these types of stuff. So, it's really about the doctrine. And that's what we stress first and foremost. It's not about anything carnal-minded or envy of in any camp or nothing, or nothing like that. The scripture says that the righteous, um, Proverbs the 27th chapter, be diligent to know the state of thy flocks, right? So, our flock right now is all of Israel. All Everybody that's listening is, is and listening to us as a flock. So when you put together these videos, you want to make sure you're teaching them and feeding them the right thing. You know, and if um, you break down the scripture wrong and you look, brother, we don't, you know, that's that. Okay, Salakia, and you move on. You know, that's it. You move on and you continue teaching. So that's that on that on that situation. I pray the most I have mercy in you guys. If you come across this video, I pray you repent from the action. Because more, I'm, I'm from from my short time in this truth. Um, when that scenario happens, it tends to lead to more and more, this is wrong, that is wrong, and and eventually they just give up the fight. You have examples in the fact of ITR, you have um, IZAR, um, the, list, the list goes on, and that's just, that's just in the YouTube era, what I like to call the YouTube era, 2007 and onward. The apostles been in this truth way before the YouTube era, and you can only imagine how many times they've seen it, right? And so good at seeing it that they could kind of spot when it's going to happen before it even happens. So it's just good to pray to Heavenly Father, repent, humble yourself. Um, again, not just speaking outward, working on that myself. You know, don't want to be a statistic, man. There's no reason. There's no reason to be arrogant. There's no reason to say I can't be um, wrong, man, you know. And it's always good to remember, prior to the apostles and elders, we just was some niggas in the world with our pants off the ass, man. You know? Simple um, um, shit out there. We was doing simplicity out there. And they fed us the milk. And that's the milk that brought us um, here in this position that we are now. So it's always good to never forget that, man. Never disrespect them. Never um, get beside yourself. Never think, oh, look, they, didn't, they missed this. They didn't know this. I know a lot of things, man, all right? The apostles, uh, Apostle Latar said that. Apostle Latar was on, he said, look, man, if we used to come out here and teach you everything we know, we'll fuck, it'll fuck with your head, man. That's true. That is absolutely true. Um, 
Ecclesiastic tells us, um, don't strive, don't strive for something too hard, too hard to reach. Pretty much, you know, out of out of your area of competence, right? One time, Apostle Elder Apostle Elder Apostle Elder Recall was speaking, and um, they were, you know, just flowing through the spirit. And I remember he said one thing: um, everything has a spirit. Your car has a spirit, and that fucked my head up, you know. That fucked my. It's not that I didn't believe it. No, no, no like I just I was like, holy shit, you know what I'm saying? But the men around them, that was just like nothing. That was kind of that was like milk to them. So it shows you like, look, there's things that the apostle the elders they they know that it would, you know it's just best to just teach the, the basics. And that's what they've been doing for years, and they haven't it hasn't been proven wrong. So you know if you want to go into these different breakdowns about the Sabbath, how should I? I mean, the apostle Paul said that. You know how the simplicity and how shy this thing is really um simple you know it's really simple but you know jake want to do extra mathematical equations you know this thing is salvation is pretty much like algebra but jake wants calculus we don't need you don't need that man especially the fact that it has really nothing to do with salvation you know the 11th hour brothers that are gonna to just do faith be spared, man, all right, think about it like this, you know, you're praying for your family to make it, right, if your wife made it, did she know any deep dark breakdowns, no, she was just of the elect, so, you know, that's a good way to look at it, but going back to the topic at hand, yeah, things will never be the same, man, things will never, never going to be the same, uh, right now, we taking advantage of this YouTube thing, because you can see, they cut down channels left and right, they're introducing the police state, so, um, soon, they, just like how they making crackdowns with this coronavirus, and they could and they're trying to further this uh, Freedom Act. That's one thing I'm keeping my eye on, the Freedom Act. Because they're really trying to extend that one. All right. By the way, that was an extension of the Patriot Act, which took away your liberties. That's normally what they do. When you end up giving up your security for liberty, you end up losing both. That's one of these uh, quotes of, I believe, Benjamin Franklin. And that's not normally how they do it. You know, they pass these draconian laws, Isaiah 10 and 1, which they've prescribed while you're in fear. And you're not even looking at what's going on so i'm you know i'm praying for the day man you know the no the no um the the act that gets passed that bans religious teaching on youtube that bans religious teaching on the streets these things is a stuff that's going to come to pass because amos 8 and 11 has to take place the famine of the word right now we're still being able to teach still able to um put videos out still being able to call eat the devil but just like in history in Rome when brothers are being persecuted for what they teach, that's gonna come back again. Nothing new under the sun, you know? Because this RFID chip, um, that's the worship of this devil. All right. And when that when that thing and it's it's being right in front of our faces, man, they might use the coronavirus um, scare tactic to issue that in the form of the vaccine. They might not. Who knows what they're gonna do? But we just know that this. They are gonna do it some way, somehow. The so called white man is gonna do it. The most high Sword, Psalms 14, is a so-called white man. And the most I was going to use him to implement this RFID microchip. You know, all the transactions that you see in front of you today is going to be done digitally. It's going to be done digitally. Things are already going. Things are, I mean, things are already cashless. I mean, when you go to buy a car, you don't go with cash in hand. You make a big purchase on a house. You don't have cash in hand. I don't know if you've been going to the gas station lately, but they already taken away um push it in your car it's just tapped in your car you know so this is it's being pushed as a, uh, uh, as convenience it's been put it's being pushed as convenience you know that um when i was doing the lift situation i left my debit card at home and i was stuck out in one of these boroughs without my without my debit card um i think i left my driver's license too in my pocket you know and i'm and i was running low on gas i was like how the fuck am i gonna even what i'm gonna do and the way I was able to refill gas was I had my credit card on my phone. Like Google Play, Samsung, Samsung Pay, Apple Pay. And that was that conveniently, conveniently took me out that situation to where I was stuck. Ultimately, it was the most high, but I'm, I was just using that as an example how they can push convenience, man. You're stuck in a situation. If stuck in a situation, how having that could, you know, get you out that situation. So there's different ways to push it. You know, they're using it. It uses a... A universal cure to all um, ailments in the form of a universal vaccine, which that's not speculation. That's something that they're working on. Um, they can use it as 
Oh, look, how can how can how can you be robbed now, right? All your information's in your hand. How can somebody rob your information? Um, you know, this this digital currency is blockchain. So how can they counterfeit it? You know, these types of things. They, they, the way they the, the way they're gonna push it is people are gonna welcome it. People are gonna welcome it. Normally, when Esho pushes his agenda, it's being censored. They put it in the form of being politically correct, and people accept it. They welcome it. Whatever agenda he pushes, and that's part of being that wise serpent, is he doesn't make, he doesn't force it on you in the way that you think. He forces it in a way that you accept it. You love it. You you know you you want to enforce it on others. <clears throat> oh, there's one time when people were very secret about their privacy. Now it's the complete opposite. Now you tell somebody you don't have Instagram, you don't have Facebook. They look at you like you're a fucking caveman. I've actually been called a caveman for not wanting to disclose my privacy. So. Esau is very patient. He's a dragon on the left hand side. Um, he, the Mosai is going to have him map this thing out how he maps it out. And until the Mosai um, things fit to shut this thing down, we're going to keep some with the apostles and the elders, brothers. Okay, we're going to keep broadcasting this information and filtering it through prophecy, man. You know, that's, that's, that's what we're here to do. That's all it's about prophecy. Second Ezra 15 and 1 speak down the ears of my people, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. The words of prophecy. We even speaking it on to the Gentiles, the natural Gentiles. All right. It's in the book of um, uh, Jeremiah, you know. And the, the Lord said, "Look, your word is going to go out into the ends of the world." All right. So that's being done via this unicorn, the internet, that brought in a lot of people. And not only is it bringing salvation, so it's also brought condemnation. A lot of people have came across as truth, scoffed at it, mocked it, and now dead. Or in fucked up conditions, or will be in fucked up conditions. So this 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 thing is working. This is a dual sword. <laughs> it's a sword with salvation on one edge and condemnation on the next. So you don't want to you don't you don't want to you know you don't want to receive um, the gift of damnation. Man, shit, we want to be saved, right? So man, you know, as I look around, I see all these people wearing these masks on their face. I just think how powerful the U.S. media is. There was a time, not and when I say there was a time, I'm just talking about a few months ago. People would clown um, so-called Chinese and Japanese people for wearing these masks on their face. They'll say, what the hell are you doing? This is a fucking cold, you know? But now, they're doing the same. Yeah, I can't knock somebody for taking precautions. So if you want to take a precaution, by all means, you know, go ahead. You know, it's just, it's just if, if this could be done with masks, if they could get you to run out there and buy a mask and buy more toilet paper than you could shit, then they could easily, well, manipulate you to run out to go get an RFID tag. With that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukar Kodash, Double Honest of the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You are Kim to Sadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.